Hi there, I'm Allison Frankel, and I'm a designer here, design consultant at Seapoint Design and Remodel. And good morning, I'm Mike Hollander. I'm also a uh, co-designer here at Seapoint Design and Remodel. And we're here to talk about the uh, design of kitchens, which is always such an important part of your home, of course. And why would you want to listen to us? Great question. <laughs> Well, Go basically, ahead, um, as a design build firm, we are 37 years in Orange County doing nothing but home renovations or remodeling. Um, and that's our specialty. We basically will do residential work, um, a lot of kitchens, a lot of bathrooms. And uh, the one thing Allison and I and our team are really proud of is um, we have a repeat and referral client rate of about 52%, which is really unheard of in the remodeling industry. I mean, uh, the unique thing about the industry is most companies go out of business in three to five years or change names, but we're 36 years, 37 years strong. Right. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we really appreciate that we work for such a great company. And then what we'll talk about today is some, some really fun pro uh, topics, I hope that you think so too. Um, how to plan your project, architecture and engineering, kitchen features, which there's just infinite numbers of things we can do with your kitchen. And then we'll talk about the press, the press project, which is a great example of a beautiful kitchen um, result that, you know, we, we started with um, a little bit of a, a sow's ear and we turned it into a silk purse. <laughs> and then the last part is the kitchen inspiration, which is the most fun part. That's the one everyone really enjoys. Yeah, lots of before and afters, which I think you'll like. So stay tuned. Um, so let's get into planning your project. And really the, the important thing is to set realistic expectations. That's everything from timeline to budget and process. So really it's important to know like how much can you afford? Uh, what is your time frame? And a lot of people don't realize that a kitchen really can take about 12 weeks to build, um, you know, from start to finish. And the nice point about uh, the nice uh, factor about C point is that we do take care of everything from literally start of demo all the way till finish and clean up, handing you back your keys, right so on. to speak. Yeah, no, we will make it a turnkey solution. And unlike Chip and JoJo, where you can sit on your couch and consume a bottle of wine and have a project <laughs> done, um, things take time. And we'll walk you through and be very upfront with you about setting the expectations and uh, how you can live through the home remodel to get to your dream kitchen. Right. And yeah, that's what's nice about a design build firm like Seapoint is that you can do it yourself. You can do your kitchen project yourself if you feel really handy and you're comfortable managing a lot of tradespeople um, or you want to, you know, go to the tile store yourself and choose all those items and make sure you get the right quantities, things like that. Um, or you can work with a contractor like a general contractor who will also, you know, put that responsibility on you to get it designed, get your permits, get your architectural drawings often. Um, but with a design build firm, you get that full service of all the way from interior design and estimating and planning all the way through, you know, construction. So that's really, I mean, we, we feel like it's a great benefit because what we design actually gets built. We make sure it can be built and that, you know, down to the dollar, what your, your project is going to cost. So. A lot of options available to you. So if you wanted to work with a general contractor, uh, this slide really represents you being in the middle of the process. And it means you have to take on a lot of responsibility yourself. So hopefully if you're gonna go down this path, you're willing to accept the fact you're gonna miss a lot of work hours. You're gonna miss a lot of family hours. You're gonna be running to Anaheim to find tile. Yeah. You're gonna be shopping for cabinets. You may have to pick up and deliver the cabinets for the contractor. Um, and then the most important thing is when you're in this scenario um, and you wanna ask the general contractor how much it's gonna cost, he can't really tell you. Um, you know, he, he doesn't have an architect to work with. He doesn't know what the materials cost. And it just makes the process very difficult and, and frankly, very stressful when you're the homeowner trying to coordinate all this. Yeah. A lot of times your contract might have a lot of allowances, which means we guesstimate it's going to be this much, but we, we kind of prefer this model, which is, um, you work with a design consultant, you get a project manager on your project. We take care of all the materials, uh, and delivery. Um, if your project is structural, we have a, we work with a structural engineer to you know to design your plans, and we have an architect on staff. So we take care of the architectural process as well, which is fun for you too, fun for me actually, mm. <laughs> as well, a designer. Yeah, it really is. And the nice thing is, you can be as involved in the project as you choose to. We've had clients actually go on a cruise and say, Mike, we'll do a Zoom call every Friday. Just keep me up to date on progress. You guys take care of it. And, and that's what we're here for. Yeah, exactly. You can be as involved or not involved as you want. Mm -hmm. So some important things to really consider. 
um, is the importance of, of insurance on the, on the part of the contractor. And um, C-Point does have liability insurance. It's very important to have all of these types of insurance. And you can check out different contractors at cslb.ca.gov. And the other thing that's important, if you're interviewing other people, make sure they are who they say they are. Unfortunately, the, the construction industry has a lot of questionable characters saying they do the work and they may not even have the license in their name. They may not have the insurance or they may have complaints filed against them at the CSLB. So we strongly urge you to do your homework, uh, find out as much you can about the companies you're interviewing, talk to past clients and just get a really open and transparent feel for who you're gonna partner with. Because when we do kitchens with clients, we're truly partnered with them for maybe four or five, six months from concept to completion. And uh, it's gotta be a good partnership. That's right, yeah, we're with you for a while. So we wanna make sure it's a good partnership licenses and how important they are. So once again, the CSLB is a great resource to verify licenses. Um, California has 43 different classifications, which to most people is overwhelming. Um, those of you in attendance state probably don't realize if you're a painter in California, you need to be licensed. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, not to make light of the trades involved, but you need special licensing for electrical and plumbing and painting and structural framing. So. Once again, just because you speak to somebody that says they can do it all, are they really licensed to do it? Right, and qualified. That's really mm -hmm. important, of course. And references to, I mean, making sure that you check out, um, you know, all these uh, different sources for, you know, validating that the people that you're working with are qualified, that they've delivered what they say they, they deliver to clients, and clients are happy. Because construction can be, you know, messy mm -hmm. <laughs> and stressful. Mm -hmm. um, so make sure that through that process, you still feel like, you know, that, that you can see that clients have been happy with the results and had a good, um, a good result in the end. Yeah, I mean, you should talk to three or four references, even if you're dealing with a small guy, maybe it's what we like to call Chuck with a truck. It's, it's <laughs> the main contractor, a helper, maybe a little dog. There's some good guys out there that can do quality work, but if they can't give you three quality references and they don't allow you to go see the condition of their job site, um, you might want to think twice about what you're getting when you, when you partner up with somebody like that. That's right. Yeah, it's important to validate your, um, your service providers. And this is an important one. Um, yeah, 63% of contractors fail by year five. So that's why we like to talk about the fact that we've been in business since 1986. So we're showing all these different trades um, or different you know, industries and construction is the green line. So you know, it's it's important to work with someone who's been in business for a while because we offer a five year warranty on our work, which means that, you know, we know we're going to be in business. Uh, we're going to support you. Um, uh, and if something you know, like if we install a cabinet and it has an issue in four and a half years, we will come in and help fix it for you. So it's important to know that it is. And, and by the same token, uh, you should also understand that within California, anyone you hire to do remodeling work of any kind has to give you a one year written warranty in your contract. And over the years, we've seen, seen some incredibly ridiculous contracts given the clients that don't have warranties, don't have details. And um, at the end of the day, as a homeowner, you need to understand what you're getting into, what your rights are. And, um, we want to be transparent. We want to make sure you're a knowledgeable client. Yeah, it's really important. Ah, uh, this is a great slide here. So we get this question probably every week. Um, permits, HOAs, other related paperwork and procedures we have to follow. So if you live in a community with an HOA, um, typically a Christian remodel would not be in, uh, involving your HOA for approval unless we're moving windows or doing anything that's visual outside. But uh, we definitely need to test your home for lead and asbestos. It's state mandated. Um, if you're told otherwise, or you're thinking because your home was built in 1987, it doesn't apply. That's just an urban myth. We test every project, even if it was just finished a week ago, and we permit every project we do. Uh, we have clients here all the time, well, Mike, yeah, I'm just doing a kitchen. Why would I permit it? And the reality is we're doing plumbing work. We're doing electrical work. We may be doing structural work. Um, the cost of the permit versus doing it correctly and having the peace of mind and having the paper trail when you go to sell your home is invaluable. Yeah, and also the permitting process means that inspectors will be coming through to validate our work. So it's actually good for you to get the permit. We want you to have our work validated as well. Mm -hmm. That's important. So of course, you know, we offer free consultations. We'll come in and what we call a first appointment. We'll talk to you about your kitchen, you know, what you wanna do in your remodel. Um, all you have to do is drop your name and number, phone number 
or email in the chat box and we can set that up for you. Okay, also at the end, we're gonna open this up to Q&A. So if you have any questions that come up throughout our presentation, feel free to hit the, up our chat box and uh, we will get to you in the order we receive your questions. Yeah. So let's talk about the design process and the factors involved. Um, it's really about working together. It's not like we're gonna hand you a design and say, that's what it is, that's all you get. <laughs> it's really a collaborative yeah. process. And one of the things that we do in the design phase is we, um, we pull together a budget range. So once we've talked to you on that first appointment, um, we take a lot of notes and listen carefully and talk about you know, what your needs are in your kitchen. And then we'll go back to our office and pull together, like I said, a design agreement, which is um, detailing all the things that we think are involved in the project, and then um, assign a design fee for the project, usually, you know, for a kitchen in the few thousand dollars. Um, and then um, we'll also include a budget range. So we don't know exactly because we don't know exactly the materials you're selecting but we know generally what a kitchen of your size and scope would entail. And that's a great point. Um, I had the interesting meeting with a client two weeks ago and she called up a company that said they did design build and they refused to send somebody out to meet with her. Um, and to make matters worse, what they did is they looked up her property address, they looked up the value of their home and they gave her a price range for her kitchen sight unseen, which is a real disservice to the client. Yeah, we do measurements and photos. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine. I mean, that's you really need to see the space and talk, you know, through details mm -hmm. with the client. But once that design agreement is signed, then we begin the design process. So that's really fun. We, you know, we always get this question, well, how much is my kitchen going to cost? And here's kind of a breakdown about where your money goes. Um, the cabinets are, are a big chunk of it, which is important because the cabinets need to be lasting. They need to be quality. Um, and they also need to be aesthetically pleasing, you know, what you want your kitchen to look like. It's the biggest portion of your kitchen. Um, a little bit in drywall, obviously, um, countertops and tile. And then labor and installation is really another of the bigger chunks um, of where your, your budget goes. Um, of course, you know, design and project management, which we feel is critical <laughs> to the project, is really only about 10%, um, but it is an important part of, of the process. Uh, yeah, like, as I said, cabinetry, you know, there's there are so many different levels of, of cabinetry. And uh, we work with a company that's, you know, based in the U.S. and manufactures in the U.S., which we appreciate and think is really valuable. You can do stock cabinetry, which is very limited in the types and sizes of cabinetry that you can use, even in colors and styles. Um, Semi-custom, of course, allows for different depths and widths and heights and lots of different combinations of things you can do and features you can add. And then custom, of course, is 100% built to your home. Uh, we do custom cabinetry. We tend to use a lot more semi-custom because it offers the benefits of custom with, you know, not the, the cost. So, yeah. And then when you're looking at cabinets and realizing how widely uh, the cost of a kitchen can vary, stock cabinets, think of Ikea, think of something you could buy off the shelf at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, typically, stock cabinets are very inexpensive with really a limited lifespan to them. And uh, it's limiting in how you can design. Um, where most of our clients want solutions we provide that fit their lifestyle, fit their cooking style, uh, and fit the feel and, and finish of their home. Mm -hmm, exactly. So of course there's tons of different door styles and colors. You're seeing really just a few here, <laughs> different you know uh, wood species that we use, different um, grain of, of the different wood, um, different stains that we use. We can use glazes on top of them or not. Um, so you have lots of different options and really we design to your taste and to your uh, the style of your home and what you want to achieve in your design. And we never want you to feel overwhelmed. I mean, we probably have over a hundred different door styles, probably uh, over a thousand different color combinations. And what Allison and I love to do is we learn about what you like, what you don't like, what your tastes and styles are. We'll give you homework assignments. We'll have you set up uh, and send us Pinterest and house inspiration pages so we can really dial in and come up with the beautiful look that fits exactly what your vision is. Right, exactly. And to your budget, that's important mm -hmm. too, yeah. And custom cabinetry, you know, we can do, you know, catalyzed conversion varnish, which you've got three dollar signs there. You know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's really the best finish in the industry. It does come with a lifetime finish warranty. Um, and it, it's just the right way to approach the investment that cabinets are in relation to the cost of kitchen model. Right. And then semi-custom is uh, great. Like I said, great value, um, you know, dovetail joins, uh, 
soft closed doors and drawers, all the things that you would want, lots of features that are available in the cabinetry that we can, that's built in or we can add into it. Um, great finishes that are very durable um, and just really will, you know, transform your kitchen. And then, um, of course, we can do all these fun things. Like we, we talk to you a lot about how you cook <laughs> or how you use your kitchen, even if you don't cook. You know, if it's really more for storage or for just to, you know, have some products close at hand, uh, we really want to know because we want to make sure that we make your kitchen custom to you and how you function, how you work, and what you need to store. Exactly. There's unlimited gadget and uh, functionality we can uh, put inside the beautiful cabinets we create. And um, it's all tailor made to you. I think in the 37 years we've been doing kitchens, we've never repeated a project twice. Right. I mean, there's always inspiration and you learn things each kitchen and you, you know, can add more bells and whistles or you know, not put those bells and whistles in if, if the client doesn't want them. So really it's custom to you. And of course, tile infinite. That's oh, truly practically infinite. This is an overwhelming option in terms of all the beautiful tiles we can select. Yeah. And that's where it, that's also really fun for us too, because we're helping you choose your cabinet, your countertop, and then the tile that coordinates with your floor and all those other elements in your, in your kitchen to make it look, you know, that it's like the, that jewelry to the back of your, of your kitchen wall. And it can be very practical and also sparkly and fun, depending on what you need. Uh, we can install glass tile. Uh, we can use porcelain, which is very, very durable and easy to clean, of course. Um, there are many different looks and styles and, and patterns and shapes. And of course, countertops. We do lots and lots of quartz. We have a whole wall of quartz to choose from. Um, you know, many different brands and um, companies that produce quartz, uh, which is a fantastic product because it's so easy to clean and take care of and doesn't require a ton of ceiling and it looks like like real stone and real marble and what we hear from all our clients is they typically want beautiful products with zero maintenance and quartz definitely gets you there in terms of its durability and, and the things required to keep it looking beautiful yeah yeah so natural stone of course we'll work with natural stone which has its unique patterns and colors and just a really unique look and you know we have often done for example we're showing here an island that's in natural stone and maybe the perimeter is in quartz we can do that too if you want that statement piece in the center um, of the room or in maybe on a on fireplace cabinetry that's you know near the kitchen there's so many different options but we help you make it look amazing and coordinated and really highlights the great materials that you choose and we choose together Marble um, is a popular look and beautiful material, very traditional, of course. Um, it does require a lot of maintenance and also um, it doesn't hold up to a lot of stain. It can stain and it also acid will pit it. You know, for example, like red wine is an enemy of marble. <laughs> right. We, we were very careful when we do and do not use marble in kitchens. And we will interview about your lifestyle and cleaning habits because it, it can get damaged so easily and it is one of the softest materials out there but it is a beautiful and timeless look and, yeah. and sometimes we'll just do marble in an island especially if our client is into baking yes um so it's definitely an option to consider but there are some uh, requirements to keep it clean and beautiful yeah we'll advise you on the best use and and you know practical um requirements of your kitchen so as promised we're going to look at the press project and how we transformed their kitchen from ugly duckling into beautiful swan. So <laughs> we went through a regular C point process. There was a design consultation. We met about the design agreement. We selected materials and finalized the scope and the budget. Uh, we go through a lot of detail with you. So just bear with us. It's important. We want to make sure that you know what you're getting and you get what you want. Um, then we went through the construction agreement and they signed. And then we went through ramp up and permitting. That's really important with the city. We take care of that for you. Then we demoed and we built it, and then you sit back and relax and enjoy your kitchen. And one, and one important point, um, we're never in a rush to start demolition because we're excited and we've signed a contract. Uh, we all hear horror stories of um, the neighbor down the block hired somebody they met to remodel the kitchen. He demoed it two weeks later, and then he disappeared for four months. Um, quite the opposite. Yeah. We're not ready to demo until all your beautiful cabinets have been built, shipped to our building, and are ready to bring to your garage for job site installation. So we have a very defined process that minimizes downtime and just makes it as stress-free as it can be for Yeah, you. and really um, makes the construction process more streamlined and efficient, which I think everybody appreciates. I know we do. So they, like so many clients, they wanted an open concept kitchen. They needed, you know, to add a place to eat meals together, needed better flow, 
um, and a, just a larger functioning space. You can see they had upper cabinets that were kind of hanging down above the cooktop, which is the cooktop is perilously close to the edges there. It's a fire waiting to happen, basically. Yeah. <laughs> That's something I would want to change pretty quickly, mm -hmm. I know for sure. Um, so, you know, you can see a little bit of other um, angles of that same kitchen. There's that upper cabinetry that we're taking out so often now. And some of the, maybe like a dead corner there I'm seeing um, that is not allowing for a lot of storage. Yeah, this so, looks like a very original 1980s kitchen and um, a lot of our clients are in a similar situation. Maybe they've been in the home a long time and they want to put their own spin on it right. or they've just bought a home and they're ready to really customize it and make it uh, beautiful. Yeah, and that's fun too. We love to do that. So you can see that we do as-built site plans. And what that means is we, we have to draw your kitchen or your house, I'm sorry, the whole house as it is existing. And that's for permitting and also for our use too. To make sure that we can expand your kitchen, we're going to show you, you know, where the kitchen's going to go. And of course, this is a proposed floor plan with the utility plan. Those lines are quote unquote wires to different uh, lighting, such as recess lighting. We're showing all the plugs. We're showing under cabinet lighting, um, even plugs for the, the garbage disposal and the dishwasher. So we really think of everything. And what we're doing a lot, even switches, we're doing a lot now, um, USB plugs as well for clients who want to, you know, sit at the island and charge their, their computer or phone or whatever. Um, but we even, you know, think about, you know, what plugs need to be available for refrigerators and cooktops and things like that. So we plan, plan, plan. It's important. And then the fun thing too, is that you'll see um, black and white elevations of how your cabinets are going to be planned. And when we know what door style you're going to use, we can even uh, reflect that in the plans as well. And when you shop for your appliances and, and we know what the model numbers are, we can insert those into the drawings, which we really like to do because we want to make sure we have clearance to open your fridge properly, that your microwave drawer can be installed um, in the right size cabinet, all those kinds of things. So and that's a great point. Uh, the appliances are so critical to us designing the kitchen. We're actually designing the layout around the appliances. So needing to know early on that your, your heart's desire is a 48 inch wide cooktop really uh, tells us how we have to design the wall around fitting that item in. Or if you want a big uh, side by side 30 inch fridge and freezer in a column format, um, we design around that because we build the cabinets to fit those in. That's correct. Yeah, it's critical. And you can see here too that we're doing a lot of uh, large drawers for clients, which are so great for storage because you can use them for plates or for, you know, large stock pots and Instapot or whatever you need to store. They're very deep and they just offer a lot of access. It's wonderful. So then we go, once we know the materials are, and we have the space plan dialed in, uh, then we can pop those into a color rendering, which you can see here represents, it looks almost like a photo, but it's not, but it shows you what your kitchen would look like. Here's a few more renderings. You're even seeing a reflection of the mirror that mm -hmm. might be in the refrigerator, um, but we make it look realistic with even some, you know, decorative items or, you know, utility items that would be in your kitchen. So you get a feel for how is that going to be standing in my kitchen? Um, another view, even with that beautiful large um, slide in range, um, and that corner storage here, we might even be sliding in some wine mm -hmm. bottles there. Um, yep, and we even, we moved this house to Seattle apparently. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lush Northwoods forest yeah. back there in the backyard now. Yeah, but we really try to make you feel like you're standing in your kitchen and you can really feel what it's like to be in the space. We right. feel like that's important. And the beauty of the rendering process is we reach the end of the rendering process and we finalize decisions. This allows us to now go into process and price your contract and give you an exact to the penny cost because we're showing you all the materials that we've selected, the countertops, the backsplash, the tile, the flooring. So we've taken all the guesswork out of pricing. And at mm -hmm. the end of our process, we're able to deliver something to you that uh, eliminates surprises. Right. We don't like surprises in construction. We don't think you do either. Um, another rendering showing, you know, some great features like the uh, beverage fridge in the island, also with great storage and doing a contrasting color. You'll note that the pendant lights here look like they're a little different than what got built. We'll see that in a second. Here's a microwave drawer. We're doing those a lot uh, for clients in islands because they're great for families with kids. The kids can, you know, microwave their own things. They don't have to reach up too high. I've done these also for um, a grandmother that moved into a multi-generational mm -hmm. family. And she's only five foot tall, so we want to make sure she can reach it too. And I also use them a lot in aging in place situations because yeah. of the accessibility is so easy. Fantastic. Yeah. 
And just we show all kinds of perspectives like here you're hovering above your kitchen. <laughs> I don't know how often you're going to do that, but it's always good to see all the things in perspective. And then poof, we built it. So yeah. it didn't it, take a uh, didn't take a bottle of wine. But we got it done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks later. <laughs> yeah. But you can see there were a few modifications made from that color uh, or rendering. We didn't go with the honey bronze uh, poles and faucets, uh, but really fantastic choices. And I think this kitchen was so successful. Uh, you can see that it's just, you know, really welcoming, light and bright, with still that fun contrast on the island. Um, you know, we've accommodated, you know, maybe a, a feature here that we had to leave that column there, but I think it really shows that we still have considered the space really uh, effectively, even doing some fun glass front doors here for display of materials and things like, uh, you know, display items like bases and things. I think one of the other changes we made from concept to completion is the pendant lighting in the island got changed. We thought the fixtures we used are a little more dramatic. Yeah, and we're showing here even too, like we talked about, we'll find, you know, even if we have some, you know, quote unquote leftover space based on, you know, like a little smaller end, we can do these great cabinets that have pullouts that can hold your utensils, they can hold spices, um, lots of different functionality for uh, shorter ends. Um, of cabinetry. And there's those beautiful pendants that got changed out for a dr more dramatic lantern style. Um, so let's look at some more before and afters because who doesn't love before and afters? This is the fun part of the presentation. The, truly the fun <laughs> part. So send in your questions because we're gonna you're gonna have more questions, I'm sure. So yeah, there's our typical, you know, uh, 1970s yeah. calling that went their island back. That's right. <laughs> And poof, that's what we're, where we ended. That's mm -hmm. really beautiful. What a beautiful kitchen. And if you notice on this one, the client wanted a, a wall-mounted pot filler, so we're able to incorporate that for uh, filling for pastas or clam bakes, whatever they may do. Yeah, that's, that's those are so fantastic. And I love this waterfall edge on the countertop. That's so mm -hmm. sleek and modern. Yeah, and this great bank of cabinetry here with the built-in wall ovens. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of those too. And then, Mike, you should speak to this one. This so this was a fun project. This was a 1970s townhome in Dana Point, and the homeowner decided to downsize from their large house into this home that they had owned at a rental property. So we wanted to make it more open and inviting. And what you're seeing are the walls from where we started. This The kitchen was hidden behind that wall. It was teeny. I think it was eight foot by 10 foot. So the next slide will represent <laughs> our, our solution and opening up this amazing view. Their view went from the Santa Ana Mountains at the left to the ocean all the way to the right of this photo. You can't see the ocean, but um, it was a night and day transformation and there was nothing but tears of joy when the homeowner uh, saw the reveal of her finished project. Yeah, this to me is a transformation. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is like a work of art. So kudos to you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and then of course more, um, you know, a kitchen that uh, is ready to be updated. Um, let's see where the result was. Wow, that is That's so That's another much wow factor transformation. And truly. It's not just the beauty of the new cabinets. You know, we improve on the lighting and the feel and the flow. Yeah, absolutely. And just, you know, really considered, you know, what does a family need? You know, the, this little nook here for sit, you know, dining casually or even just sitting on the end of the, of the island, you know, chatting with mom or dad while they cook. Yeah, there's just so many options. It's not a huge kitchen, but it has such personality. Um, again, another dark kitchen in that Tuscan style. And what do we do with it? A custom kitchen. <laughs> this is 100% custom. This is about as custom as you can get. Mm -hmm. um, and everything about this was about the homeowner's personality and taste. And right. F obviously their favorite colors. So uh, we listen carefully. We take a lot of notes and we more than deliver uh, what you ask for. Yeah, absolutely. We'll design to your style. Um, again, that's, uh, let's see what we went with that. Wow, not a huge kitchen, but again, just so sleek and so efficient and such better use of space. I think that there's so much style in this kitchen without, you know, breaking the bank. I love this. Mm -hmm. I think this is a fantastic kitchen. Um, here's another small kitchen with a, a little tiny island. It's almost hard to see, but there it is. Mm -hmm. And poof. <laughs> that's the result <laughs> so much more storage better use of space um just, it just feels more open and airy and yeah. just more uh, inviting yeah you don't have to have a white kitchen to do that i mean i'm doing a lot of kitchens these days that are in warmer tones we're getting a little bit away from gray and things um into more creams and, and warm tones as well um but again another i went kind of fast there so that's whoops that's the before mm -hmm. a little dark there yeah 
Uh, and then there is the after. Look at that beautiful island. Such a nice, simple yeah. seating area. And Look, better cabinet layout, more functional for the homeowner. Tons and tons of cabinetry. Still great planning. Yeah, beautiful uh, use of the windows. Another before and an after. I love that gorgeous backsplash over I the know. cooktop. A lot of character. So much character in that hood, that contrasting hood. And this beautiful end of the island. Mm. I love how we have that chunky wood leg. That's really cool. amazing. So we can work to your personality and we would love to. So please, you know, give us a call. You have to see the number there, 949-861-3400. Uh, we'll schedule um, a complimentary design consultation with you. Like we said, we'll come out to your kitchen, to your home, take a look at your kitchen, talk with you, see what you need, what you want. And then we can have that design agreement meeting and we'll talk through it all. Yeah. Okay. Um, Should so we open it up to some questions? Yeah. Okay, so go you ahead. Want, okay. Uh, looks like Steve and your Belinda was asking, how long does it take to remodel a kitchen? Um, we get asked that all the time. And, and really the answer depends on the size of the kitchen we're going to be designing for. Are we removing load bearing walls? Are we changing windows? Um, a basic kitchen remodel can be as fast as maybe eight to nine, 10 weeks, depending on the simplicity of it. Um, a more complex kitchen, maybe we're moving the kitchen across the back of the home, maybe we're taking out walls. That could be in the 12, 16, 18 week range. And um, we will have a better answer for you after we've seen your kitchen and really get an understanding of what your end goal is because every project is individual and unique and every home is unique. So um, the answers we give you are really specific to your project. That's right. And the time frames that Mike was mentioning really are from construction start to construction construction end. Yeah. And you don't have to be gone. We have a lot of clients that stay in their homes while we're working. The only times that I recommend that people leave is during demo because usually it's not very fun. It's very loud. <laughs> so yeah. just for those few days, you know, be away from your home, but not a big deal. The rest of the time you can, you know, a lot of time clients will, you know, create like a little makeshift kitchen in another room in the house or, you know, they make do. So, yeah, and we've had some clients where they already have outdoor barbecues or kitchens, so they just transition their cooking style to everything on the barbecue or the microwave, and uh, it, it works out. Yeah, lots mm -hmm. of ways to handle mm -hmm. it. And then, oh, I see another question. Um, do we really, do I really have to get a permit? And yes, you do. I mean, that's the way C-Point works. And as I said before, the reason is um, it's good for all kinds of reasons. For when you go to resale your house, you know that the work is permitted. Um, you know that when we have the inspectors come, they're checking out the work that we're doing and our, um, you know, our tradespeople to make sure that it's up to code, it's installed properly. Um, so it's really to your benefit. It's, uh, you know, we we do require it and it's it's really for your best interest. And, and the other side of that question, it's a great question, is if you're interviewing or engaging other people and they tell you they do not do, need a permit to do a kitchen remodel, that should be a big, big red flag for you. If they are a legitimate licensed contractor in California, they're lying to you, they're breaking the law, and they're being very blatant about it. Um, we do everything based on doing it right. There are a lot of people out there that want to cut corners. You're not saving a significant amount of money or uh, time by shortcutting the process. So we strongly advise you to do it correctly. Yeah, that's right. And then um, there's another question. Can you pay for design only if you're exploring but not ready for the green light on a project, like maybe not ready for construction? Um, we really are uh, truly design build. So the design portion is the is the first phase of the project. We do want to build it for you. So uh, we don't typically we don't release our design so that someone else can build it. And the reason for that is that we have our unique liability insurance with uh, contractor state license board requires that we build what we design. Correct. And there's liabilities that come up for us as the general contractor design build firm. And there's also liabilities that come up for you as the homeowner if you were to get somebody's plans and hire a third party to build it because the integrity of the design can't be um, overseen. That's right. So even though we design an amazing project with proper lighting and electrical and plumbing, if uh, Jimmy and his team that you hired at Home Depot get a hold of plans like ours and decide they're going to build it, there's no oversight to know that they even followed what we designed. Yeah, and then we, we, we carefully oversee projects like you, um, you know, you're not rid of us once construction starts. Um, I like to do, we both do a lot of site visits mm -hmm. to make sure that the rough electrical and plumbing mm -hmm. is installed properly. Uh, we dimension everything very carefully. We come and look at, uh, you know, cabinet mm -hmm. installation when it's um, completed. 
We also um, visit a tile installation because we want to make sure we, we have very specific layouts for tile and we want to make sure that it's all handled properly. So we're, we do a lot of site visits to check on things and make sure that the project is, is handled in the way that you want it to be right. and to our design. And to expand on that a little bit. So because we are a turnkey solution, uh, we joke that our clients only need two people on speed dial when they hire Seapoint. So uh, as your designer, Allison and I uh, are typically with you from the very beginning, from the first meeting till you're moving in and, and popping the bottle of champagne, celebrating your new kitchen. The only other person you'll need to really have on speed dial is your dedicated project manager. And uh, he's the one that will really take over from us from demo day through completion. And we become his kind of second in chain of command because we're yeah. the eyes and ears that designed it and want to make sure it's it's built to the beautiful specifications. Really yeah, great. it's great to have that mm -hmm. person giving you, you know, updates every week about what happened mm -hmm. the week prior, what's going to come up in the next week. So, I mean, we really, we may over communicate mm -hmm. with you, but we think it's better than not hearing anything at all. <laughs> exactly. I see we have another question. Uh, Julie in San Clemente is asking, do we have a showroom that she can visit? And the answer is absolutely. Um, our showroom, I believe, is open 10 to 5, Monday through Friday. Um, we prefer to have appointments set up when possible, uh, but the idea is you can come in and see uh, the amazing selection we have for our cabinet line, uh, countertops, tile, flooring, plumbing fixtures. Um, we do make it a one-stop shop and our showroom is not going to overwhelm you. It's just the right balance of ideas and products for you. Yeah, and it's a great place. We do design meetings um, in our showroom because it's a great place to pull examples like for, uh, with a design meeting that I did this morning, um, the client has chosen most of her uh, materials already, so but we have one more thing that we wanted to just dial in. So I'll lay everything out on the on an eye on one of our islands, and then we can quick run over and grab another sample and pop it next to everything and say we love that, we don't love that, or whatever. So it's a great you know working meeting that we can pull samples from our showroom and. It's very um, collaborative and actually a lot of fun, I find. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, looks like we had a lot of questions, I guess. I guess we're doing good. Um, so we have a question. Do we have a typical budget we work with for like a kitchen or a master bath? And the answer is we can get to that answer after we've met with you and see the space we're working with and get an understanding of your expectations. Um, it's really doing you as a homeowner a disservice to throw out numbers sight unseen. And, um, there are companies that advertise, yeah, they'll transform your bathroom in 48 hours for $10,000. And it's the old saying, you get what you pay for. Yeah. Um, it would be a disservice to any homeowner that we meet with to give them any kind of range of sight unseen. Um, our complimentary first appointment really gets us down the path to understanding and getting some preliminary budgets together for uh, your projects. Yeah, that's right. And it's, I mean, it's kind of hard. We, so we base our... Um, are ranges on size of your space, mm -hmm. the scope of what you want to do, like how much mm -hmm. are we doing? Are we moving a lot of things, especially plumbing uh, and walls? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then also the selections that you make. So if you choose, you know, mother of pearl backsplash across a giant wall, that may drive the costs up. So when we show you an estimated uh, budget range, mm -hmm. you know, we're taking into consideration some of those things um, and using, you know, kind of mid-range uh, pricing. And then that's what the design phase is for, mm -hmm. is that we can, you know, we can say, well, we definitely want to use that mother of pearl backsplash, but let's, you know, based on what your budget constraints mm -hmm. might be, everybody has a budget, whether it's a million or, you know, 50,000 uh, or 100,000 mm -hmm. for a kitchen, um, then we can maybe contain the use of it and use it effectively and beautifully, but not in the whole entire mm -hmm. space. So we, we, all, we talk a lot about what I call the B word budget a lot, because it's really important. It's not only your kitchen, and where you're going to enjoy family time and meals and just quiet time, but also, you know, you want to make sure that it's uh, it's going to fit your financial life as well. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have one more question about budget. Um, so some of the examples we sh have shown today are, are over a period of time. Right. Meaning it's not like we just finished them last week. Some of these products are a year or two or three years old. And obviously we've seen great fluctuation in pricing due to inflation in the last three years. But mm -hmm. um, if we had to put like a low range, high range in some of the examples we've shown today, I think the low range kitchens we've seen, the small, simple ones are probably in the $75,000 range. Uh, that full custom beautiful kitchen with the uh, custom blue cooktop, that was probably a $250,000, $300,000 kitchen. That's right. Um, yeah. And we, we design 
to the client and to the budget. So um, it's important that we have open, honest, and transparent conversations with our clients about what their expectations are and what their comfort level is. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I know some of the TV shows uh, talk about kitchens that are in certain budgets that are, you know, we're, we're just shaking our heads because mm -hmm. those budgets are not realistic, unfortunately. You know, we can't do a kitchen for $10,000, not even twenty <laughs> or $30,000. It would have to be like a galley kitchen, maybe. <laughs> with an Ikea cabinet, which yeah, we don't use. Which um, we don't use. Yeah. So, I mean, it's so we, we do talk a lot about, uh, we, we like to educate our clients too, but we like to do that when we see, you know, what we're working with, what your goals are. And then we can really um, dial in and start talking about numbers because we know it's important to you. And it's, it's like I said, it's important to achieve your goals, but also make it work for your, for your family. Absolutely. So for all of you that have been with us today and have been kind enough to ask a lot of questions, the best way to answer the question is meet with one of us. Um, let, let's get an understanding of the space we're starting with, what your wish list is. And I use that word because kitchens and design in general can be a very emotional thing. So mm -hmm. um, us understanding what your goals are will help us define uh, starting points for budgets and you know what the next steps can be for your modeling dreams. Yeah. But we'll be transparent. You'll know. Uh, we'll talk yeah. it through. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Again, I'm Allison. And I'm Mike. And it's great to meet with you today. Thanks. And thanks and tune in for the next episode. It's usually every Thursday.